Small scale renewable energy solutions are starting to make a big difference in the rural economy. They're not only offering new solutions to improve overall income, but also transforming existing solutions which are assisting traditional sectors. Jasilia K and Shilpa Rani Peta bring you more. This is a bunyad, a solar powered machine used to make silk thread by women in the remotest regions of states like Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, and Odisha, where electricity connection is either unstable or non existent. These machines are used to extract silk threads from silkworm cocoons and have been developed by Resham Sutra, a Delhi-based for-profit social enterprise. Started during the lockdowns due to the pandemic, Resham Sutra has delivered over 10,000 such machines and directly helped over 12,000 rural women and their families improve their incomes. Like all good things, it started small. We saw some good um, response from the women we were working with and that actually led us to actually think of uh, looking at it as a business and uh, trying to find a solution that not just technology now we are looking at supporting the rural women across the value chain. Resham Sutra is not alone in such social enterprises. Under a program Powering Livelihoods, which is jointly run by the Council on Energy, Environment and Water and Wilgro Innovations Foundation, there are 15 odd startups looking at scaling up their renewable power solutions. Raheja Solar Food Processing, for instance, designs solar dryers which are traditionally used to dry agri produce. The company has found ready takers for its product with women engaged in drying fish and spices. तो मैं अभी मैं सोलर ड्रायर लिया तो मेरा एक दिन में नीचे सुखा के हो जाता है पहले तो मैं इतना ज्यादा 100-150 किलो बनाती थी इस बार मैंने इस सीजन में तो 500 किलो मसाला बनाया है जब मेरा यूनिट हो गया हो जाएगा तो मैं सोलर का जरूर मुझे 101 परसेंट बिठाऊंगी डायरेक्ट कस्टमर इट्स गोइंग टू बी डेफिनेटली but mm. women can, are a better person to do the processing. So even our main priority is who, the, the person who is the beneficiary of the trial must be a woman. According to a recent report by International Labour Organization, the share of women working in renewable energy is significantly higher than in the overall energy sector across the world. This has sparked hope that the global transition to renewable energy could advance gender equality, especially in the Asia-Pacific region. The switch to renewable energy is also being seen as an employment generator. Council on Energy, Environment and Water estimates India generating 3.4 million jobs both short and long term by installing 280 gigawatts of solar and 140 gigawatts of wind capacity. Economic potential for these small scale renewable energy based solutions in the economy and we pegged a number uh, which was close to 50 billion US dollars. So it's a pretty large number just coming on back of these very small solutions. Uh, in Indian rupee term, it will be about 3.5 lakh crore Indian rupees, right? Uh, and uh, the second estimate that we did was how many livelihood that we can impact, the question that you are asking. Uh, and there we estimated that at least 22.3 million, which is close to 2.3 crore livelihoods can be uh, impacted on back of these solutions. This is really leveraging small scale clean energy for rural livelihoods. Financing is very critical to enable adoption of these solutions. Uh, but it is a journey. You need to work with financiers and bankers. Uh, you need to cover some of their risks to start with. As these measures take shape and grow roots, experts believe financing options from both traditional banks and the shadow banking space will multiply and give India's green economy that much needed boost. In Mumbai with Jasilia K, Shilpa Rani Peta. The world's largest brewer, AB InBev.